another United fan up next off to meet Zool at his house. Um, hopefully he's a bit more positive, a few than United fans we've had on recently had a lot to be upset about, but you've got, caught him at a good time. Yes. And hopefully, uh, do you think United turn a corner? A little bit, yeah. not enough to make sure that uh, the critics won't come back as quick as they left today, but uh, yeah. I think it was a positive uh, move, uh, positive like atmosphere, yeah. positive interview after, after the game. So sign that, yes, you understand that you have to maybe change uh, a few things around. So well, it's good to see. Well, it looks like we've arrived. Mm. Just watch out for that car, mate. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. I don't plan on killing myself. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Uh, right. Now, yeah, just push. Now we got now this. Just Finally, after three episodes, yeah. we've got the seats correct. Yeah. Ooh, Which whoa. number we got? It's hot, huh? Just hit you, huh? Oh my god, <laughs> Louis, it's hot. We've got the sun ready for you. Yeah. yeah. Wow, well, actually, no, it's really too hot. Is this the house? Okay. Oh, I heard a yup. <laughs> Who was wow, that? Who's wow, that? Wow. Oh, there you are. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi, Mr. Saha. Hi, nice to meet you. Right. Okay. <laughs> wow. Robbie, Zul's a Salango fan. Hi, yeah, Zul. Of course, I have your t shirt, man. Oh, yeah, my shirt as well. How are you? <laughs> this guy won't wear it. You wear it? No. He's wearing well, yeah. the Malaysia Cup with yeah. the state yeah. uh, he supports yeah. the state we're in now. Uh, and who's this? This is my daughter. Where are we sitting? Yeah, so hey. cute. Sorry, it's just, I'm starting to sweat at the back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. so. Is it difficult to take Manchester United right now in terms of, okay, they're get, getting points, they're getting the wins, the mm. draws, but the drama behind the scenes, like what was going on just yeah. now, <laughs> it's a bit difficult to understand. Yes. Because this won't happen during Fergie's time. I'm not sure Saha, you are part of Fergie's team. Yeah. So yeah. I don't think there's a drama back then. No. But now, every other week, you, you are looking at uh, a drama, right? Be it Mourinho or the place itself, right? So I'm not sure whether MU needs some character. Like MU just have, uh, during Fergie's time, a uh, Kino. You should ask him about Roy Keane, how he was in the dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Do we need, and you need that type of character now? Yeah, of Just course. to pull and the strings and of course, yeah. get the team back together? Yes, some, some, some character you mentioned like R Roy Keane, yeah. yes. But the most influence uh, that you could get in the dressing room, maybe in terms of like communication, was actually Gary Neville. Mm. Oh, okay. all, those, all those players see, like right. will be on your back every morning 7 30 when they actually get there it's like constant pressure yeah. the united mm. way united way united way wherever you feel like there is like a lot of players uh has left transition has come and so you have to understand it's not going to be uh, the, the same you know mm. um I, I think from what i see is like the leadership is about co to communicate you know the desire to improve and okay. what I've seen, like from, from, for example, Marshall, the expression that he had when he scored goals, when he seeing things, and I say, oh, he seems to be extra motivated. Mm, it yeah, is something correct. like that correct. show me, correct. oh, he's got emotion and he wants to do better. And, he, 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 and this is like his own reaction. I don't think that it's been communicated that you should show this, you yeah. should show that. I haven't seen any player like just like saying being constantly on his back i haven't seen this from pogba i haven't seen it from mata i haven't seen that from de Gea. i haven't mm. seen it mm -hmm. you know who is hubble smalling uh, all the, those players the, and i never saw them like hungry the and passion. say oh passion yes. yeah. communication in between i say this is not normal yeah. for me not normal yeah. for, uh, i expect some kind of tension, yeah. visible tension, where you're actually asking your teammates to be focused, to be motivated. Just fight or argue. Fight, no? Yeah. Have they gone into like self-preservation mode? They're all just trying to look after themselves, not try to kind be of, too... Kind of, it's... No, like, over the line you have a backbone where you see goalkeeper, central defender, midfielders, mm -hmm. strikers, mm -hmm. who have that kind of character. Oh, mm -hmm. it could be selfishness. Sometimes they, they use some certain players to actually show that uh, the extra motive come on in yeah, it does happen yeah. but most of the time you actually 
bring some kind of tension, the mm. fans see it mm. and actually react and say, hang on a minute, mm. let's lift them up. Mm. And I haven't seen it. Yeah. Some players going to look at the, the stand and... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, That's Gary Neville. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Those things were drama on the field that we love. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You've been watching United for so long and you saw when Chris Smalling first came, he was in first choice right back, yep. he was in first choice centre back, mm -hmm. but now he's first choice. That does show you the drop in standards, and I don't mean any disrespect to Chris Smalling, yeah, yeah, if at all I meet him in the future. <laughs> but that just shows you, you know, am I, am I saying something? Yes, we, have, we, have, we used to have Rio and Vidic mm. as a centre-back, mm. two of the best. But now? Two of the best in the world. Correct. Yeah. Rio Which and is Vidic. really mm. important. Where are you talking about, yeah, Chris is a good player. Is he from the best 20 defenders? Uh, in the world, not sure, yeah. but he now it's kind of a first choice. Lindelof has done really well, so I'm very pleased with her. Uh, but Lindelof performed well, really That's well. Right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. He but he's well. an engagement. Yes, yeah. there is maybe. Yes, but so he needs to play well for a season. Maybe ten world class centre backs. Mm. It's difficult. Those yeah. defenders, they are defending now, standing. They don't tackle anymore. They don't have the same aggression as before. Mm. They are very clever defenders. They're pretty much all technically very gifted and mm. all that. So mm, when you look at the World Cup, many goals has been considered. Yeah. Mm. Many goals. Yeah. May was a factor of maybe the actual VAR mm. situation where anyone who's been touching the, in the <laughs> box, <laughs> it would be penalty. Yeah. So <laughs> it was like maybe up and up and they couldn't really train on it uh, see, before yeah. the World Cup. But still, you ask Rio Ferdinand, I'm sure they will say the same. Mm -hmm. Hang on a minute. When you are trying to look at defenders, it's really hard to pick like someone who is aggressive, who is going to be good on the, like doing his job and passing the ball right, mm -hmm. be confident playing with his goalkeeper. Like that's confidence, you know, like taking the ball. When I was like trying to play against Vidic and, and Rio, when I was at Everton, for example, and I had to press those. <laughs> <laughs> and try to ah oh, felt like really bad, yeah, yeah. you know, like I was a bad player, uh, couldn't like get near. Oh, and Vandersa was actually playing as well, like yeah. a centre back as well. I said, on a minute. Yeah. <laughs> and this feeling, it's united back mm -hmm. then. You know, it was like whoa, we are playing with a big player. Now, if I do press in certain way, mm. I feel like I can get like maybe half a chance to recover the ball. So, so most probably they'll make the error when you press them. Yes, this is not normal. Yeah. H how hard was it for you to leave United when the moment came? I was uh, d devastating, yeah, because I knew that it was a hand of uh, um, not easy chance to win a trophy, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> your best chance. <laughs> yes, because I was, um, I was very motivated in my career to actually perform with the best player possible. Mm. And I knew that now is like not disrespect with uh, Everton or, or any club that I joined after, but I knew it will not be the same uh, standard. No. What was the biggest shock when you left Man United to one of the, to Everton? What was the biggest straight away you noticed, oh, this is not like United? Oh yes, the, the, the first one is actually what we see right now with uh, uh, United uh, mentality, I would say. Mm. It was more 50% trying to defend. Yeah. That for me was like, I, I need, you know, yeah. I've always been like very focused on my quality, yeah. saying how I can score, how I can like may put like uh, some doubt in the defender. Mm. I may go very aggressive. I may go at some point a bit not lazy but nonchalant and yeah. like be a ghost and then, uh, and all that was my game. But now it's like I've been asked to defend, yeah. been asked to be <laughs> the the first like yeah. kind of like uh, support to me. And I say, wait on a minute. It was not me, so it was like really difficult for me. Even in Fulham, when I was mm. back then at some point, it was like very attacking. I was like mm. that freedom. Yeah. But from United, I had to go to that motion. And defending takes up a lot of your energy. Yes. And then when you get the ball to score, you yes. might not be fresh. Yeah, yeah because <coughs> I, I, I was not like uh, Rooney or those players who's got like a lot of uh, stamina. Mm. I was like very concentrated and focused on how to score. To because score, if yeah. I don't score three goals, uh, three uh, games in a row, I won't play. Yeah. I will be not in the bench only. I could be in the stand. Yeah. Wow. So, so there's a standard. 
Uh, yeah, United. because Tevez, Rune, uh, uh, you have like uh, Chris, uh, Cristiano, you have Van Nistelrooy, mm. you oh. Alan Smith, and I say, hang on a minute, mm. if I don't score, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> that's six yeah. world class yeah. strikers. I say, hang on a minute, Solskjaer was here, and I say, oh, <laughs> I have to score, otherwise, stand. Yeah. So I had to redefine my game to make sure that I'm going at the end of uh, things. You know, it's all about making connections. I'm going to make a connection with Robbie right now. Mm. Good pass. Yeah, good pass. Yeah. As always, uh, everyone on our show gets uh, the illustrious Man on the Street t-shirt. Right. Thank you. Nice. So we'll present that to you for, uh, as a little memento for having us here in your right. beautiful home. Yeah, so we've got to take a picture Michelle. with uh, Louis and the shirt. Come, let's of take course. three, two, one, over here. Thank you, man. Uh, yeah. Picture with you? Of course, Salamo of course. Winner. Salamo, Salamo. 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 <laughs> Wait, uh, I need to take a Salamo shirt. Oh, okay, no problem, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Actually, I like the one goal you scored against Chelsea at Old Trafford. Mm. Use the defender, oh, and put the ball around the net. Oh, he's got my celebration T-shirt. No. Oh my God, he's yeah, got it. That's <laughs> sick. Ooh, See, that's this is what a Salango fan would do for you, bro. No, I love it. Can do you, you know? do this? How you do this? Do this. <laughs> so you know, if Deli Ali did his one. I have mine was the original, ah. like that. <laughs> I do that. The original. So, so, so you go like this. <laughs> yeah, we got it. Have we got enough yeah. photos? Do the Robbie. <laughs> I can, I can, can you that. get one for me, yeah, please? Yeah. Hold that oh. up, bro. Oh, sorry. Okay. 